This briefcase is finished. Let me tell you a little bit about it for those that are interested. It is Herman Oak English Bridal Leather. It is a little bit different than the bridal leather that I've been using for, uh, for a few years now. The leather that, I, that you mainly see come out from uh, my uh, work is either from the J. Cedric Tannery or Wicked and Craig. This is Herman Oak, it is an American tannery. This, when I first started making briefcases, this is what the leather I started making cases on. It, it's beautiful leather. The reason why, I, when I started making briefcases, I used to make them thick. So I wanted the thickest, stiffest leather out there, and that's what this was. Then my customers started bringing me to thinner leather, I would use Wicked and Craig because they could thin the leather for me to my dimensions a lot, and that's great, and it's still a great leather. It's a slightly different, and I would also use uh, the Cedric uh, Bridal Leather because customers would want more authentic, more waxy or bridal leather, so I was pushed um, to make a lot of my cases with those types of leathers and less this. Recently, I had some special requests on Herman Oak, so I got some leather. I really like personally the way this feels and even the way I work with it when I make stuff. So this is a double gusset briefcase, 16 by 12, two inch sections. It's got a flat stitch handle, no newspaper pocket. Um, you got the rings on the top and it's got a Marcelino latch right there. I got the logo. Um, on top of the latch. The latch is covered. This is uh, a beautiful, smooth, shiny nickel latch. It is unlined, comes with a shoulder strap, and just basic two pockets, two, two compartments, no center pockets, no uh, little center pockets on there, and that's it. Unlined, basic briefcase, thick Herman Oak, it's uh, stiff as hell. This leather does get still stiff. The edges are burnished, smooth, no paint. It's gonna last for a very long time. It's classic, it's beautiful. Once this stiffens up, once this softens up, it's gonna feel even better and it starts building the patina. But whatever, that's it. That's this uh, briefcase. It's a Habermas style, just with a, a flat um, handle. This is something that I haven't been putting on the Habermas style in, uh, in, the, in my most modern uh, briefcase the past few years, I'd say. So, that's that.